Hey, welcome to another episode of the Lighting Breakdowns. So I'm a big fan of the show Ozark and its dark and gritty look. So let's see some of the scenes in the last episode of the season four and see how they shot it. All right, so here's a car scene and it looks like they shot it on LED walls uh, with multiple cameras and blah, 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 talk, 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 and boom, they get into an accident. Here's the scene I wanna talk about. See this move here, coming here, get out, get out, get out. And then he goes to the other side. And let's talk about how they light this scene. So you can actually see it's golden hour when they shoot it. So they have these two big solids completely blocking the sunlight so they're in the shade. That way you can shape the light and maybe even add your own light or else you're not gonna compete with the sun. And on the reverse here you can see there's one light here that's probably giving him this edge on the car and on this guy. That's what's giving him the separation from the background and this cooler edge light. And there's probably another light inside the car that's giving her these eye light and some ambient so you can see her face, not too complicated. And then when they cut and go into this shot, he's suddenly on the other side of the car. Like I didn't even notice it when I was watching, but it just tells you how much you can get away with this kind of stuff. <laughs> Incredible, just watch it again. The kids are on our side. Marty goes to the other side. And then when they cut, he's just back. Okay, so for this shot, I think they moved the solid that's here to the camera side. So whatever is downstage that's closer to the camera is dark and have some sort of contrast. And then you can see it on this clip here. They actually have like a, I would say a 12 by or an eight by diffusion that's giving him this key light on their face right here. So you're nagging the camera side and then adding light upstage. That's what's giving the contrast in this shot and with some atmosphere, looks pretty good. Here's another scene in the same episode. You do this cool crane move, come up, and then turns around. Looking at the behind the scenes clip, they have two cranes with two big solids. One is uh, overhead, blocking the direct sunlight, and you can actually see it here. If they don't block it, it's gonna be sunny, and that's not what they're going for. And there's another big solid on this side that's giving them some negative fill to create more contrast. And then when they cut to the singles, you can see it gets more polished because you're not moving the camera as much. And you can see it in this clip, they have uh, this sort of uh, diffusion on the left side. That's what's giving him the key here. And then of course the negative fill is above him so that the fill side of the face is uh, darker. And when you cut to the reverse, it's the same thing. Key coming from the right side through a diffusion and the camera side is negative fill. And what's cool is you have this cool ambient leak from the sky that's giving her this separation on the arm and on the face. And then they do this cool move again. Notice they cut right before where the light is supposed to be, right? The light is supposed to be like right outside the frame here. That's giving her uh, the key in this angle. And then they cut to this shot. Notice it got a lot flatter. The negative fill is probably still here uh, on the right. And then the overhead, you can see it's a lot flatter when you're trying to do a move. Actually, when the camera comes into this position, it doesn't look too bad. But the sky is definitely, uh, I would say, a stop above what we've seen before. And that's because you don't have the space to put a light here to give them extra level and contrast. So you're gonna have to open up the lens and, uh, and that's why the background is brighter now. And you can just kind of feel the power window on these two. Like this is definitely not what they got on the day. On the day, the level on their face and body is definitely a lot lower and they can bring it up in post. And you can kind of feel that power window on his face right here. And they do this cool move. So you're pretty much looking at, I would say 300 degrees. The only place you can hide stuff is right outside the frame here on the right. Yeah, there's no way to put a light, not in the right place. And then here's a night scene, another cool techno crane move. Comes out and you see a guy outside. 
and you can see the behind the scenes clip here. And they come out, say hi, comes out. Okay, so looking at this clip, there's a four by diffusion with egg crates that's serving as this cool ambient light that's edging this guy. And you can see uh, in this shot, that's what's separating him from the background and preventing him from merging into the shadows. So you can just barely make out there's a person there. And then when they come out, you can see these uh, cooler lights coming from above and behind. That's edging them out just a little bit and creating some color contrast. Same here. And then there is another light here that's probably on this uh, combo stand. So there's another ambient light that's uh, giving this some details in the background. And blah, 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 they talk. They talk, talk, talk. And then their son with the gun comes out and cuts into this wide master. You can see it in this clip here, the cameras is in between these two guys and there's an stereo tube giving them some hair lights to separate them and then and you can clearly tell there's a big soft source behind the big solid here this floppy here is uh, used to cut light from hitting these two person in the foreground and this looks like an ND gel that's cutting a light from hitting the floor because if you don't have this you'll have these hard shadows on the grass which is not what they want so that the light only hits them on their upper body and their face. And then you can see there are more diffusion to soften the light and then there are two nets, a single net and a double net to cut a light from whoever is standing closer to the light, which is this guy probably, because he would have been much brighter since he's standing closer to the light. So they're cutting it so that the level that's hitting these three guys are basically the same. And you can notice it a lot more in this shot. And these two parents are getting a lot more level than him because they probably did the same thing with the nets to cut light off him a little more because they want your attention to be focused on the parents. All right, that's it for today's breakdown. If you like this, please subscribe because I will keep doing these. And bye.